Samsung's been selling the frame television for a while. This is a brand new version for 2021. The idea is it looks like artwork and it's also a television. So new for 2021, the Frame TV is 24.9 millimeters. That's 46% slimmer than before. It's a noticeable difference when hung here on the wall. Now, just like previous generations, you can have a customized frame around the edge. Samsung now has a new beveled bezel type. It's a little bit more of an angle, again, to have it look as much like a painting as you can. Now the frame includes artwork as part of the deal. You can actually download up to 1400 different pieces of art onto the screen itself. So you can always have something new. There's also a new AI algorithm that'll figure out what kind of art you like and suggest new stuff according to what it thinks you're gonna like. Of course, this is a fully functional television too. It's not really about the image quality, however. It doesn't have full array local dimming or any of the extras found on their higher end TVs, although it is a QLED TV. The idea is to have this really nice design, aesthetically pleasing around the edge, that you can customize to fit your decor. Now the frame comes in screen size from 75, right here, all the way down to 32. And the smaller size you can actually orient into a portrait mode as well. So you can have them be up and down for different kinds of art that is again more conducive to that orientation. So the main appeal of the frame is its design compared to a standard television that just sits on the wall. It also works with Samsung's ambient mode, so you can have something different displayed on the wall even when the television isn't displaying art or your TV show. The TV can also work with specialized third-party frame vendors that maybe have something a little bit different to look even cooler, even more like artwork on your wall. I like this nice neutral look, however. It really does kind of go with everything. So behind me is a huge 75-inch TV. The frame does come in smaller sizes. Right here you see a 32-inch model. They've oriented this in the portrait mode. I first saw this thing and I actually thought that it was not uh, a regular television. I thought this was a mock-up. But actually, if you look closely, green, but they've got the screen coating, the dimness of the screen, so natural that it does appear as if it's just stationary art sitting here. So really cool. They've done a lot with this design of the frame television over the last couple years this 2021 version is the newest and best and again thinner it's got the frame around the edge that you can customize and even third-party frame vendors will help out with that that's a look at samsung's new version of the frame for 2021 i'm david katzmeyer What school wouldn't be complete without a giant, scary-looking, disinfecting robot? That's what Ubtech Adibot is here for. We're taking a look at this giant robot right now. So we know Ubtech from making robots. In the past, they're all about consumer bots that can walk and do yoga with you. This year, they're focusing on schools and small businesses with the Adibot, which is a giant cylinder, kind of reminds me of a monolith. It goes into classrooms or rooms roughly 900 to 1,000 feet, and then it starts dis disinfecting with UVC light, designed obviously to kill the coronavirus, so it's timely. Now, you could get this for your home, but it's pretty expensive. The Adibot has two models, the A for autonomous and the Adibot S for station. The autonomous one is going to cost $40,000. The station is $20,000, so a little bit of a steep ask. But Ubtech is comparing it to industrial models that can cost upwards of a hundred grand. Schools or small businesses that might not be able to afford the giant industrial model. Schools and small businesses will also be able to lease either model like a car for a two or three year period without having to stomach that upfront cost. Okay, so let's dive into what the device actually does. It has an RGB sensor on the front to act as a camera, to sense if someone's coming into the room so it can stop doing its cleaning program. It's using UVC so it can actually be harmful if you're in the room with it while it's working. It also has motion sensors all along the top rim 
and it comes with an ordinary looking caution sign that you can put in front of the door that talks to the robot via Bluetooth. So if somebody moves that caution sign to come into the room it'll shut down automatically as well as it has eight of those lamps that cast the light to disinfect an area and it will supposedly work in roughly a hundred seconds if you're talking about a thousand square foot classroom you'll be able to control the Adibot with an app or with a remote and in the app you'll be able to see status reports of when it was cleaning and how long it cleaned for Ubtec will be available for support to help your school figure out how long it needs to operate in a room of any given size. The autonomous unit navigates with LiDAR, but Ubtec will want to send out a technician when you're first getting it set up to help it work through the floor mapping of your school. So the Adibot is certainly a cool and relevant idea, but 20 to $40,000 is still a lot, even for schools and small businesses. And UVC light isn't a catch all. And so there's still gonna be a lot of work required from somebody on site to make sure everything gets properly disinfected. Plus you have a scary looking robot in your school that students will maybe be a little bit intimidated by. Maybe after this is all over, you can repurpose this giant monolith as a hall monitor. I certainly think that would get the kids running to their classrooms quickly, but it feels like a big expense for something that won't be foolproof and will still require a lot of hands-on effort to keep everything, everything disinfected. Nevertheless, twenty dollars to $40,000 is significantly less than the 100 grand plus industrial models that this is competing with, so the Ubtec Adibot could be the perfect solution for certain schools and small businesses in addition to regular cleaning. Thanks for watching. For much more from CES, stay tuned to CNET. For 40 grand, that robot better learn how to love. <laughs> Could it learn to love you? <laughs> um, or is that, is that like part of the $100,000? Like, to love Andrew. But to love... <laughs> we need industrial grade love. The industrial grade we gotta get through. Uh, there's too much grime. When you think of farming, you might think of a wide open field with vegetables growing with a little help from the sun and the rain. But the future of farming could be found in a shipping container in the middle of nowhere. This is The Cube from Korean agritech startup Nthink. It might look like an ordinary shipping container on the outside, but inside, this fully automated vertical farm is reshaping the world of agriculture. The Cube is actually a 40-foot refrigerated shipping container with space to grow as many as 2,600 individual plants, each in its own growing container stacked in neat vertical rows. The plants are grown under LED lights using hydroponics, meaning there's no sun, soil or pesticides required. And the plants can be grown all year round. They're fed with water that's been amped up with nutrients and the system is automated and optimised based on the plants that are being grown. The Cube is a modular smart farm designed to be built in urban spaces in pretty much any configuration that you like. The containers can be stacked vertically or horizontally with potentially dozens or even hundreds of cubes fitting together to make one giant farming system, all capable of cultivating and growing tons of produce. The idea behind the cube was to bring sustainable and efficient farming to places that may not have traditionally supported agriculture. And the focus was on securing food supply with crops that can grow all year round. The human populations are growing quite fast and we need to come up with some kind of very efficient solution that can actually support that fast growing population. At the same time, we shouldn't actually damage the environment that the, that population lives in. At the heart of the Cube Farm is an automated operating system known as Cube O. It takes in data from sensors inside each farm, measuring readings like humidity, pH levels in the water, temperature, and carbon dioxide, everything that's needed to grow a healthy plant. And each of these variables can be tweaked and optimized. Nthing isn't the first company to bring automation to the world of farming. 
Companies like Bowery Farming are also trying to bring farm fresh vegetables closer to cities. Bowery's warehouses in New Jersey grow leafy greens and herbs with the help of LED lighting, hydroponics and an operating system that automates virtually every part of the growth cycle. By controlling all those variables, these vertical farming companies say the end result is a better crop. Enthing has already partnered with Korea's largest supermarket chain to provide greens and last year they rolled out a farm in the United Arab Emirates where temperatures during the summer can regularly climb over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Always summertime was a problem in the Middle East. We're the only one who are stable, and who are stable enough to supply the products throughout the year in the Middle East without having any kind of problems. Now, Enthing is looking to expand into new markets like Singapore and Qatar and even experimenting with other plants like hemp. So forget the wide open farmland, your next leafy greens could be coming from the farm of the future. Hello and welcome to CES 2021. Lots has changed since CES 2020. Our world looks different. And many of you have been faced with a new reality. One where, among other things, your home has taken on a greater significance. We found new ways to connect. Video calls with relatives virtual problem-solving with teachers, and maybe even reinstating dinner time with the whole family. But what if that home and those technologies in it were actually built around you? At Samsung, we're always finding ways to do just that. And today, we're going to show you how we're building that future one where you can live better in your own unique way. We think that with the right technology, we're ready for a better normal. Let's take a look. <laughs> Making better choices for me. Getting better, take after take. Having better superpowers or super intelligence. Coming up with better ideas. <laughs> Doing what's better for the planet. So, what do you think? Way better. Better than last time. Interacting with my fans better. Making the future simply better. This is what we envision. Technology that helps you, that works all around you, that doesn't complicate life, but makes it better. Our innovations are designed to provide more personal and more intuitive experiences that express your personality. It's that inspiration and our focus on you that led us to our fridge lineup called Bespoke. We started with a simple idea to give you the ability to change the color and type of your fridge, custom fit to your lifestyle. Now, we're expanding on that inspiration to bring Bespoke to the US for the first time. Come and see. Mm, smells so good. Introducing the all new Four Door Flex Bespoke. It comes with even more ways to customize your kitchen for both form and function. And Bespoke will be available in North America this coming spring. 
Behind this door is a brand new beverage center, which gives you quick access to the water dispenser and an automatically filled water pitcher that's ready whenever you need it. The four-door bespoke comes with a flex zone and upgraded crispers with temperature control. No more frozen veggies because the fridge was too cold. You can store everything the way you need it. Now, today's reality means you need personalized experiences everywhere in your home. That's because your living space has changed. Today, it's a place to talk, hang out, cook, and maybe even work out. We think your TV should reflect these changes too. With the Serif, the Frame, and the Cero, Samsung made your space more personal with bold design, a gallery-like mode, and both portrait and landscape displays. Now with the Terrace, I can sit on a patio and watch the big game or see cinema quality content in any room with the Premiere. Our leadership in TVs pushed us further to think about how we could innovate with your needs and reality in mind. That led us to the latest breakthrough in our TV innovation, the all new 100 micro LED. If you remember the wall from 2018, we built on that vision to create the micro LED. It's pure RGB LED light shows every color and detail that you've come to expect out of Samsung's TVs. But this time, we're going beyond great picture quality. Micro LED's bezel-less design fits seamlessly into your space, and it's just as smart as our latest QLEDs. New features like Quad View allow you to split your screen up to four ways for various content, and it also offers more than 160 free channels through Samsung TV Plus and customized recommendations with our universal guide. Micro LED will be available this coming March to let you customize your living space in a cutting edge new way. What you've just seen is cutting edge tech customizable to your lifestyle. Yet what you also need is personalized services, ones that respond and adapt to your daily routines. Let's see how Smart Things Cooking can make your life in the kitchen even better. Of course, exercise is an important part of wellness too. Our Samsung Health Smart Trainer is coming to all of our 2021 TVs to make home training easier. Check out what it can do. Are there any special workouts?
Pretty neat, right? Oof. I feel like I've done a workout just by watching them. <sighs> Thank you. Don't you just love Bot Handy? See you soon. Now, I'm often asked to explain artificial intelligence, or AI. For many years, I would talk about algorithms, machine learning, and even neural processing. It's been a complicated answer for a long time. But today, AI is much more. It's about being more personal and predictive. It's about benefiting you every day by being a core part of the products and services you enjoy. AI is a transformational technology. When AI is involved, it creates something entirely new. So much so that maybe it could breathe new life into, say, the Mona Lisa. What you see here is a neural avatar built off just one image, made possible by AI. And this type of cutting edge technology is coming to life in and around your home. Let's see it in action. Earlier, we talked about our heritage of TV leadership. Well, we're also applying AI to make the content you watch better. That's what we're doing with AI upscaling, which takes HD content on your TV and turns it into 8K quality with our quantum AI processor. AI can also change the way you do everyday chores. Smart washers learn how you do your laundry, giving you customized cycle preferences to make laundry days a snap. Another way we're bringing AI to you is with a cool new home device. I'm excited to introduce for the first time today. CES, meet JetBot 90 AI Plus. JetBot 90 AI Plus uses object recognition technology to identify and, and decide the best cleaning path. It'll clean close to objects like toys, but stay away from fragile items like vases. This is possible with LiDAR sensors for location detection and recognize even the smallest obstacles. So no more getting stuck on cables or socks. JetBot 90 AI Plus also comes with a camera. So while it keeps your home clean, you can check in on your furry friends too. This is my dog, Toby. Oops, you're making trouble again. Starting to clean.
finished cleaning. Returning to the station. Ah. I feel kind of relieved now. That was pretty cool. Our Smart Things pet uses the AI technology, cameras, and sensors in JetBot 90 AI Plus for a first of its kind pet care service. From real time barking alerts to customized pet services via the Smart Things app. Keep an eye out for JetBot 90 AI Plus coming to the US within the first half of this year. Robots like JetBot 90 AI Plus are bringing next level AI into your home, maybe for the first time. But this isn't the first time we've shown you robots at CES. Samsung has been continuously improving our robotics, including many types of bot retail, to help assist and guide you in places like malls and restaurants, when it's safe to all be there again. And as for gems, our mobility aid and exoskeleton, you might remember from CES last year, we've made improvements to its wearability and battery efficiency. Today, GEMS is used in clinical trials and pilot programs, and Samsung is continuing to invest in GEMS to bring it to you soon. Robotics combines Samsung's innovative hardware and cutting edge AI software to create solutions that both care for you and help you along the way, whether you're at home or outside of it. You are at the center of all our innovations. Now, we're going to show you what this looks like in a not too distant future. First, Samsung BotCare uses AI technology to take care of all the little details in your life by recognizing and understanding your behaviors to be a better robotic assistant and a companion. You've been on your computer too long. How about stretching and taking a short break? The conference call is scheduled in a few minutes. BotCare knows your schedule and your habits and can remind you of the conference call you have with colleagues Coming up in 15 minutes. Now remember the bot you saw in our studio earlier? That was Bot Handy. A home robot that can both recognize and grab objects. Becoming an extension of you. In the kitchen, in the living room, and anywhere else you may need that extra hand in your home. Bot Handy, let's show them what you've got. Bot Handy uses AI to understand objects, like a glass cup or ceramic plate, taking note of their shape and materials to work as your trusted partner. Bot Handy can move around and do things like set the table or put away groceries. It flips the script on what a robot in your home could look like. Good job! So, did you get a good look? Each of these robots are built with you in mind, but this is just a glimpse into the future we see. Robotics and AI adapting to you and helping you do things more easily at home and outside of it. We're hard at work to bring you next generation innovation with AI, as the core enabler for your better tomorrow. Hey everyone. I think what needs to be addressed first would be inequality. For me, the ideal future is a place where we can follow what we love. I think schools and education 
um, can learn from the community. Because to see representation of all people gives hope. It's really about um, finding innovations within green technology. Sustainability is at the absolute heart of everything. Before we try to change what we see in front of us, we need to focus on our own personal development. There's so much to learn. Technology is there to help us. Once we know we can follow what we love, that's when the true journey starts. So I think we need to start building and working towards a more sustainable world. OK, so you've seen new technology, personalised products, robotics and AI. But as you've just heard, we need to do more to build a sustainable future. The next generation is asking for us to have a more mindful relationship with the environment, our society and humankind. It's clear that we can't just tackle one or two issues. We need a holistic solution and that's our goal at Samsung. So to start, we've asked ourselves, what have we done so far for people, for society, and for the environment? And how can we do better? First of all, we believe in our next generation's potential. They hold the key to creating real, meaningful change in the world. So over the past decade, programs like Samsung Soul for Tomorrow and the Samsung Innovation Campus have incorporated new ways of learning to spark their new ways of thinking. We've worked to make our products and services inclusive so everyone can have access to technology. Features like our automatic sign language Zoom assist those with hearing challenges. And our See Colours app helps those with sight challenges better view billions of colours. We've also helped find ways to stay healthy in our new constantly connected lifestyles. Samsung's digital well-being is here to help you take control and better manage your time. Of course, we can't forget about our planet. Today we're building innovative products and technology with sustainability at the core to ensure that the next generation can enjoy a green planet. To start, we've put sustainability at the heart of some of our most popular products. Samsung's AI-powered washing machines optimise water, detergent and wash cycles, saving water and power. Our bespoke refrigerators let you update the design and function of your fridge to respond to lifestyle changes instead of buying a new one. We will even build a TV remote out of recycled plastic that can charge via solar or indoor lighting, reducing battery waste. And our energy-saving memory solutions significantly reduce power consumption. Applying our SSDs and DRAM in all data center servers can save up to seven terawatt hours of energy per year. Enough to power every home in California for a month. From education programs to sustainable products and services, we're constantly thinking of using our technology to break barriers for a better future. And as we look ahead, we will continue to put people, society and the planet at the centre of everything we do. As we think about sustainability, perhaps the biggest challenge facing humankind is to coexist with nature. If we want to flourish, nature must flourish too. And the technology industry has a significant role to play. There is waste around the world from technology and its packaging. The good news? Companies are working to change through reduced packaging and critical programs like upcycling in which electronics are not simply pulled apart and recycled, but used as building blocks for entirely new devices and services. Samsung's Galaxy Upcycling Program does exactly this and reimagines used phones into new roles. For example, last year, Samsung created portable eye exam devices with Galaxy phones for organizations in need. The Galaxy Upcycling Program has won awards for its innovative approach to sustainability from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, among other organizations. 
It encourages technology to solve our social needs while lengthening product life cycles and reducing waste. It's a recognition of our need to take responsibility and be in harmony with nature. Thank you. How about we take a closer look at another piece of the upcycling program? Last year, Samsung unveiled its eco packaging, where TV boxes were repurposed as small scale pieces of furniture. These efforts won the Innovation Award at CES 2020, and I'm pleased to announce that we plan to use eco packaging in all our TV products in 2021. But we also wanted to find a way for you to play a bigger part in upcycling too. So this year, we'll be updating the software in used Galaxy phones and launching a new program, Galaxy Upcycling at Home. You can decide how to repurpose your Galaxy for convenient home devices. For example, you can upcycle a Galaxy into a childcare tool. Sensors in the phone monitor the audio around your baby and send an alert if it hears crying. Helping you sleep easy. And your pets benefit too. A Galaxy can become a long distance remote. So you can turn on the lights if your pet is home alone. And with Samsung security features already built in, you can create a digitally safe home too. Through these programs, we want to inspire you to live more sustainably with an easy to achieve, do it yourself approach allowing people who want to participate do their part in helping our planet. I'm so excited to be part of an initiative that is redefining sustainability in tech and the role your devices play today and tomorrow. This is our vision of a better, more inclusive and sustainable future. And we're working towards it every day. What we've shared today is how after a year of abrupt change, Samsung can help us all work toward a better, brighter future through next generation technologies. While Samsung's technologies can help make it happen, it's your resilience, your versatility that will shape the world we live in and make it better for generations to come. At our Unpacked event later this week, we'll show you more products that push us toward this vision. And together, we believe we can build a better normal for all. Thank you, and have a great CES. <laughs>